Way 4, Tape 4, Nonverbal Communication, Part 1. I hope you've been doing well and having an amazing journey. Many things have been happening for this community. I will share them with you in the upcoming videos. One thing I can tell you now is that we're on the right path. The Monroe Institute reached out to me and we had a few conversations. The official Monroe Institute. They're happy with the content and what we're, we're do with what we're doing. And they sent me a catalog of tapes and other audio files, the official audio files that I can share with you guys. So I'm, I'm currently reviewing the different material and finding the best ones that I can share with you. These are the official audios and the benefit is that because this is about binaural beats, so we need the right frequencies, these tapes guarantee the right frequencies. These tapes are the real thing. So that's really exciting. I'm happy to know that we're on the right path, on the right direction. So about this video, nonverbal communication. This is very powerful. This is a tape that we can use to understand messages or communication or symbols outside of talking, outside of words. This helps us understand better our visuals that we get in our experiences. It helps explain our experiences. It helps explain feelings, images, colors, sensations. We learn how to understand the meaning of different kind of messages, not just verbal. This is very important in many ways. So, first of all, the cool thing about this that I really like is that this is, uh, Bob Monroe is actively participating to help us develop the skills in this tape. Throughout the entire tape, Monroe helps us with different exercises and different tips to, to help us gain this kind of knowledge, this kind of power. Another cool thing that I liked about this is that we have experiments in Focus 10 and other experiments in Focus 12. I would say most of the tape is Focus 10, which is weird because usually at this stage in this, after th wave three and beyond, we usually get right away into Focus 12. So it's very interesting how we try to specifically use Focus 10 to develop some skills and towards the end of the tape Bob Monroe takes us to Focus 12 and try different things. I forgot to mention something really powerful and cool is that with this tape we also learn and develop how we're going to communicate with entities in other dimensions. It's not always through verbal communication. Many of the things are through actions. In the, in, in the experiences we see things. And that's how we, we interact in many situations. There are different ways to interact in these other dimensions. So we learn how we can do that better, which is really cool. I'm gonna share with you, so I've had some, a couple of really cool breakthroughs, uh, new understandings, thanks to this tape. But I'll share with you some that, so you can have an understanding of what could, what could happen. So I understood after the tape that when I'm doing hemisync in the beginning and I see a white light, that is a good sign. That means it's activated, it works. Before doing this tape, I could not recognize that pattern of success. I could not recognize the, this pattern of something that works. But a few days after I did this tape, I spent a few, a few days like marinating trying to understand what happened trying to interpret my experience and i've made a very clear discovery that i understand the this, this communication that if i see a white light when i'm activating my hemisync it's a good sign i also discovered that when i'm doing the resonance tuning and if i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling something from it most likely i have to do it again or the tape is not going to work for me. That is another pattern that I was able to realize thanks to the exercises in this tape. So another example is if you see like synchronicities around you, 
If you see things that you think are a coincidence, but they might not be, this helps you better understand the situation and acknowledge the importance of what's happening, better understand what's happening. This is really cool in many ways. Really nonverbal communication, understanding how it works is really cool because there's many ways to communicate. There's a story of someone who, with this tape, after it, randomly, he started to like believe he could communicate with animals. He has a much better understanding of animals and how to interact with them, thanks to this tape. So that's really cool. I think that's, I'm gonna like that because I want a dog. I never had a dog and I'm not sure, I'm kind of worried how to teach it stuff and and communicate with it, but this is a great sign that we can learn through patterns of behavior and patterns of actions to teach a dog, like to, to communicate with a dog. This is just an example of a way to use the powers of this tape. And guys, I had a really strange experience with this tape. Very strange. It almost feels like Monroe is really traveling through time. It's like he came to the future and spoke to me in this tape. Because what happened is around three times, I'm thinking of a, like, for the exercise, we have to, he, for one exercise in the tape, he's going to give us words that we're going to have to try and interpret other ways, other than words, and then he's gonna give us some solutions to that. But I would think of the word before he says it. It happened two or three times. I would think of the word before he says the word. That was really strange, but really, really powerful because I do think that maybe Monroe has this kind of ability where he can travel through time and understand, uh, understand a situation. So that was really cool. Also, yeah, like at the end, I said something in my mind. He said it, he said the same thing right after. Right, right after he said the same thing. So there's clearly like something about this tape and there's a part two. I think a part two is a more advanced version where we learn even better skills for communication. So this is very exciting. I'm also doing many other practical tools like astral projection, you know, out of body experiences, remote viewing. I've been practicing those tapes. I've had a really cool out-of-body experience. I'm going to make a tape about that and I will keep you updated. Let me know how your journey is going and I can't believe I'm almost at wave five. That's incredible. It's very exciting. Uh, good luck with your journey. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.